Question 12. Leon and Sara each started with different numbers. Leon, I added 5 to my number. Sara, I subtracted 8 from my number. Leon and Sara both get the same answer. What numbers could they have started with? Well, what we need to do here is think, if they're both getting the same answer, Leon is adding 5 to get to that point, and Sara is subtracting 8 to get to that point. But they're both starting from different numbers. So Leon is starting from down here and adding 5 to get here. Sara is starting from up here and taking off 8 to get to here. Well, using this, we can work out the gap between their numbers. Well, if they're getting to the same point and Leon's coming up 5 and Sara's going down 8, then the total gap must be 5 and 8. So there must be a total gap of 13. Because 5 plus 8 is 13. So all we need to do now is figure out a pair of numbers where the gap is 13. So for example, if Leon, so we'll put Leon over here, we'll put Sara over here. If Leon chose 1 and Sara chose 14, that would be a gap of 13. So if Leon added 5, he would get to 6. And if Sara subtracted 8, she would get to 6. So that works. Let's try a different pair. If Leon chose 2, the, a gap of 13 would make Sara choosing 15. So again, let's see if it works. Leon adding 5, he would get to 7. And Sara subtracting 8 would also get to 7. So it appears to work. One more pair of numbers just for good measure. Let's choose a completely random starting point for Leon. So let's choose the number 37 for Leon. Well, a gap of 13 would make Sara choosing 50. Well, Leon's adding 5. So 37 add 5 is 42. And Sara subtracting 8, 50 take away 8, is also 42. So you can see this rule of having a total gap of 13 seems to work. Because 5 and 8 makes 13. So what we need to do is put our answers in there. And we can choose any pair of numbers, any pair, with a gap of 13. So I'll let you decide what to put in there. I'll leave it up to you. As long as they've got a gap of 13, it will work.